Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Bob. Brock, can I still land farm drilling fluids and cuttings? You know, for almost 20 years now, as moving from my family's business to college to working for a fluids company and on, we've talked about how drilling fluids and solids would be more regulated and we continue to watch and different states have different rulings. So it's our best answer would be depends, right? We love saying that, but in reality, it does. It, it, it's hundred percent. What does your state and local regulation say? Where are you drilling? What type of things are you going to be encountering? Because your drilling fluids have, as we've said multiple times, are 97% water. And if we're using NSF standard 6061 approved materials, you know, they're not they're not toxic. However, that doesn't mean we can run them into a pond or a waterway or into a uh, drainage ditch or a storm sewer because bentonite's still going to coat plug can change the consistencies of water, can still impact organisms. So we know that's not the right answer. So what can we do? One, we need to make sure where we're drilling in that there's no heavy metals or forever chemicals or whatever could be happening there. Two, I want to make sure that I have as good of a drilling fluids program and solids control program as possible. And we've talked a lot about this and you can go back and look, but we just want to make sure that as we drill that borehole, that we've disrupted the least amount, we've created the right amount of cuttings and we know what we need to dispose of. And then finally, it comes back to where you're taking them and how you're using them. There's many places where you can't move those type of solids across county lines or state lines. So that's going to be a big piece to this. And <laughs> drilling fluids to haul are expensive from a vac truck to trying to move them in the solids control unit back down the road, sloshing back and forth. There's plenty of pieces there. Uh, we see a lot of septic trucks these days coming in and sucking up mud pits that drilling companies have bought that maybe they do both. But again, what's been in there and how am I impacting the environment? So the biggest piece to this is I don't want to end up negatively impacting the environment or giving the drilling industry a black eye from doing something we shouldn't be doing. Because sure, we've seen plenty of videos of drilling fluid running down the street into a stormwater drain or drilling fluid running down a hill into a wetland or into a lake or whatever happens. And the answer is it's just out of control and this is just drilling and it's muddy. No, it's not. And as we do more thermal networks in urban areas and we get into more of these forever chemicals and Gen X chemicals, we 100% need to know what's in there. And that takes doing a toxicity characteristic leaching process and making sure that we know exactly what's in there and how we're applying it. Great question. Thanks, Bob.